Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you some tracking features of After Effects and how you can replace some stuff, uh, for example on this wall that is uh, sticking on that wall and uh, yeah, to make some special effects like matter painting or, yeah, or a sign, put a sign there. So, uh, if you don't have a 3D tracking application and you don't really need the death of 3D, uh, is this is a good solution inside of After Effects. So that is the original footage, uh, shot of a school, and afterwards, uh, yeah, I paint, I painted something uh, to stick this on the wall, and that's. Uh, that's how it should look like. So you see, I've got there some uh, some uh, rocks, dirt, uh, some slime, some holes, and a graffiti. And yeah, it uh, should be look like this. So how can we do this? Let's start from the beginning. So I open my footage. And then you go to the animation menu and take the uh, tracker. So I I use the uh, I have to use the uh, track movement. I don't know how it's called in the English version of After Effects. So we have this one tracking point, and we have the possibility to use the rotation and the scaling. But we uh, need for this case only the rotation. And now we are looking. Uh, for a point in the footage to line this up in the perspective in the in the geometry that it's not out of weight so you see it's a geometric line to the building and then we click on the track button I track it at this, this time backwards you can track it forwards or even it depends on the case sometimes you have to start in the middle and you will find out. So here we see the uh, the tracking points are sticking on the selected points in the footage. Now back I've, I've as I already said I, I've prepared uh, this graffiti stuff. Um, I took the first picture of the original shot and then I painted painted it over so I just just painted and uh, switch it off and uh, saved it with an alpha channel so you can stick there a sign or uh, I don't know whatever your creativity is the mood for so now uh, we have to um, bring that uh, tracking data to the uh, imported composition of the paintings and so I choose the target and uh, there's only one target um, I choose it and then I press the do it or use it button that's right so now it's uh, sticking but it's uh, sticking on the wrong place 
so there are several uh, ways to fix this you can use a, a null object and parent the uh, this graffiti to the null object and then uh, may make fine tuning on this null object but in this case I, I use the effect transform transformation from the effects menu and that's the same uh, the same values like uh, the uh, every layer has but if we change something in the in the layers uh, because they are keyframes uh, it will be messed up so now I uh, make a fine tuning with this uh, plugin bring it in case and have a preview so that's looking good you see uh, there's no, no person running in that uh, in that painted stuff so we don't have to uh, uh, mask anything or so now I blend it to uh, now I want to blend it to the uh, multiply so for me it's looking a little bit more natural and I put on the motion blur so because the footage has uh, motion blur too, and now the uh, painted stuff too, uh, that uh, have a more natural look. So now you can create a text, for example. that these text is uh, flying uh, in front of the school so this time I'm I'm using the uh, the scaling too of the tracking uh, part I'm tracking it backwards, uh, you can track it forwards or start in the middle, it, it depends on the case, in this case it's equal, but uh, sometimes uh, it's very useful that you can track uh, backwards. So now I choose the text layer. Oh, I forgot to use it to put the tracking data to the uh, text, so do it. Now it's it's still sticking on that floor, of uh, on that wall, of course. But uh, we want that it's looking a little bit more natural. So we create a new camera. I create a 35 millimeter because this uh, shot is also on 35 millimeters. And I put the 3D button on, and I create a null object. So and now. Uh, now I put this also into 3D and parent the the text to the null object, and now everything I change uh, on the null object will be affect to the schools out text. So it it doesn't uh, will it, it won't be affect the uh, the keyframes of the tracking data and the schools out layer. So I bring this in more to the front and uh, reposition it and make a preview so you see it's flying and it's uh, not sticking on that wall I hope you enjoyed it, have fun! <laughs>